Davide, take one. A mark. I was born in Sicily, Italy. I lived there until I was 12, then I moved to Rome for a few years, and then I moved to the city. The best part about living in New York City is that there's always something to do, literally everywhere you go. Um, and the worst part about being in the city is probably not feeling like you're ever allowed to not do anything. Because there's so much to do, you feel like you're missing out if you're just at home. I started dancing when I was five years old. Um, I remember I started watching this Argentinian TV show. It was set in a performing arts school and every time they would start dancing, specifically ballet, I would just start dancing in front of the TV, imitating them and dancing around the living room. I have a lot of favorite moments on stage. Um, I have this one particular moment that happens pretty often is when you are already on stage before the curtain goes up. And then as soon as the curtain goes up, you get this breeze coming from the orchestra. And it's just such a beautiful feeling that um, every time it gets me, it's like being at the beach. <laughs> After a show, I think I have a really hard time relaxing. I think coming off stage at 10 p.m., you're still in such a performance high, it's so hard to um, cool down. Sometimes I even have a hard time falling asleep. I just go to bed and I feel like I'm still dancing in my head. I don't watch a lot of TV shows or movies. I have a hard time standing still and relaxing. That's why I'm, I'm a dancer probably. <laughs> if I wasn't a dancer, I think I would either be some sort of athlete, so like still being very active, or something that I always think it would be so fun um, would be a news anchor. I love a good story and you would get to travel a lot. Um, it just sounds like a lot of fun. I think the funniest moment on stage I've had, um, they often involve uh, wardrobe malfunctions. And we were doing Union Jack in the second section. Um, we're wearing sailor's costumes and my pants ripped uh, in my very first entrance, completely ripped. So then I did my whole first entrance with my pants uh, split open and then I ran upstairs to get some help from our dressers to sew them back together. And as I was running downstairs back to the stage level, they ripped again. And the very, very, very first step in the finale that I would do is a jump facing the back. So it was, you know, very exposing. But it actually is something that happens to me pretty often. I just split my pants again um, a couple weeks ago. So I'm used to it by now. <laughs> the show must go on. I'm used to it.